Today we're talking about how to do warrior one pose. Hello and welcome to Yoga Lifestyle with Melissa. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have a question for you that came from my contact form on my website, melissawest.com. And today's question comes from Marcellus in Venezuela. And Marcella says, hello, Melissa. First of all, thank you so much for replying to my message about wild thing pose. I am looking forward to seeing your blog post on that. On this opportunity, I am writing to you because I have some problems doing warrior one. Recently, my hips don't want to point towards my bent leg. Probably it can be a misalignment on the straight leg. Can you recommend uh, some yoga classes about warrior one? Namaste. Marcellus from Venezuela. So this is a great question, Marcellus. And I want to let you know that I'm going to link, first of all, to a whole class that we have for beginners on Warrior One Pose. And it would be a great one to check out. It's a weekly yoga with Melissa West, number 157. So that will be in the show notes. And then there's probably a couple of things that you can do that I can recommend. So my suspicion is that you've got some tightness in your psoas muscle that runs all the way from your diaphragm down the front of your hip. And so I'm going to show you a pose that can get at the root problem of psoas tightness so that you can start to release the, uh, your psoas that runs all the way along here. And then also I'm going to show you a modification so that your hip can turn towards the front of the mat in warrior one so that you don't uh, cause any damage to your knee as well because if you're the joint that you're working isn't releasing then it moves down to the next weakest joint and you don't want to have that happen with warrior one so first of all the lunge pose to release your psoas you just step one leg forward and then to release your psoas so that you're reaching all the way through the whole psoas uh, muscle, you would reach your one arm up and you could even add a little side bend there and even a rotation up. So that would release your whole psoas muscle. And you could hold this for 10 to 30 breaths and do this on the same side, on, on both sides. And then when you're coming into warrior one pose, you would start at the front of your mat and take a step back. And so what Marcella says is happening is that she's not able to turn her hips to the front edge of her mat with her back toe turned out. And that's pretty common if your psoas isn't released. So what I would recommend that you do is you come up onto the ball of your foot at the back, onto your toes so that your heel is lifted and sink down through your foot that way so that you've got a straight line from your hip knee to your ankle and bring your arms up that way that way your knee is safe and you've got good alignment through your whole leg i hope those two tips helped we have a whole class in our membership community called the intelligent core class and a lot of it uh, works with your psoas muscle and releasing your psoas muscle and building that foundation of your psoas muscle so I'll link to that in the show notes as well. And if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. I put out a new video on this channel every Monday. I do a vlog every Wednesday. I answer your questions. If you know somebody who would benefit from today's video, then please feel free to share it with them. And thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, then uh, please leave it in the comments or comments. And today's question for the comments is, um, let me know if you have any yoga poses that you would like help with or you would like me to deconstruct like I did today and I'd be happy to do that for you. Namaste. Melissa would love to hear your questions and thoughts. Please leave your comments below the video. Thank you for your reviews on iTunes and YouTube. Your reviews help us to share yoga and a yoga lifestyle with others around the world. If you have a question for Melissa, you can leave a voice message at melissawest.com and Melissa may answer it in an upcoming blog.